Have you ever done a whole thing, like made a video or dictated something, and forgot to push the record button? I just did that! Here is my infinite power setup. Now this benefits you because now I'll be talking a whole lot faster. This is my infinite power setup. I'm generating uh, 4.6 kilowatts of power while using about 6 or 7 watts it, it bounces um, in between and the entire thing is magically powered by these things scrubbers scrubbers take no energy whatsoever to work and they suck in more gas than the active vents they're they they're the best I only really just discovered them. I have never used them before. So in here you will see that this one cell here, I don't know why I put three vents. I think I think only one is just as excuse me, just as good. And it blows through all of these fan blades back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until we get to here and we have all of these scrubbers. Now, you might think, I don't want to change a bunch of batteries. You don't have to change a bunch of batteries with transmit power. So all of these cells, all of these scrubbers are powered by this one transmitter in the center of the mall. Oops, that's the wrong. And if I get it aimed up properly, it is drawing like four or five, um, four or five hundred watts of energy to keep these working constantly. You don't have to screw with them. You don't have to do anything. The number of scrubbers that I have in here right now are optimized for about one megapascal. These four, uh, these two here, are shut down, and this last one is just sucking up the last drag, so these cells will be uh, zero pressure. You can build up, you can build down, you can build sideways, build right to the ceiling, back down again, and just keep putting more of these fan blades in, these turbines, these turbine blades. I don't know why more people don't use this. Um, even if you're combusting um, fuel to get um, power out of it, like even if you're using a uh, uh, fuel engine or a volatile combustor, whatever it's called in the game, basically a diesel engine or a, a hydrogen um, hydrogen combustion engine, whatever it's called, you can still take the output gases and get as much energy out of it as possible by putting it through these fan blades. And what I just discovered, because I didn't, I didn't really know this, I thought they would be much more expensive to build, but everything in this build is the three uh, starter components. Well, uh, steel isn't a starter component, but... Uh, Steel is one of the components that, that, that we use, so um, gold, copper, and steel, and you've got this wireless battery cell. Uh, we go for the Omni transmitter, gold, copper, and steel. Critical. And the scrubbers, um, you, get, you start off with one at the beginning of the game, you can use that. All the pipes are steel. Um, if you want to insulate it, then that's uh, steel and uh, and uh, silicon. Um, and that's it. This is it's unlimited power. Power low. You can pull as much as you can, as much as you want out of it. Um, it doesn't seem to be true to real life because in real life, like these 90 degree turns, you'd have slowdowns and there'd be pressure problems like between this fan blade and this fan blade this cell would be higher pressure than this cell and I think 
there is slightly higher pressure um, in the game dynamics, but pretty much it's acting like you're pushing a solid. So let's say you tape a bunch of broomsticks together and you, you push the first broomstick, the last broomstick is going to move pretty much instantaneously. There's no springiness. There's no springiness, which is what what atmosphere you have because atmosphere is compressible. So as high pressure from this uh, cell moves into this cell, realistically what will happen is this cell will, will build up pressure quicker than it can move to this cell because it has the resistance of the fan blade. The fan blade is going to re resist it being pushed and you will have a certain differential to overcome that. I am solving their programming issue. I'm, sol I'm, I'm, I'm giving them patch notes before they even patch this out of the game. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm an idiot, but basically all you would have to do is make this resistive and um, make it pass through the fan blade slower while generating um, electricity. And you don't even need to do it a lot. You can like look up realistic um, ratios. Problem is, is that the game doesn't use realistic densities for the gases. So if they plug in, they might have even plugged in realistic values for these turbine blades, and that's why they're hyper efficient, is because the gases are super dense uh, relative to the real world counterparts. And I mean chlorine and volatiles. Uh, well, uh, volatiles are probably a complex molecule, but like chlorine compared to, um, I forgot my periodic table of elements. I don't know which one's denser. I think, I think nitrogen is the least dense of the of the uh, CNO cycle. So, or maybe it's carbon. Maybe that's why I seek them. Whatever, I don't know why I'm, I'm putting so much brain power into this, but like uh, nitrogen compared to chlorine, there, there's, there's a huge density difference between the two gases, but the game treats them as just a few, um, just, a, just a few fractions of a percentage point difference between the two. I, I don't know why they do that. I guess it makes sense for what, how they want the game to behave, but it's not realistic at all. And in this, um, like my guess is, and if it was modeled a little better, you could maybe go three or four um, fan blades before uh, the system stalled out. But, but even if they nerf it down that much, that is still a huge... Um, a huge advantage. It's, it's still a, a huge increase in efficiency. You add on top of that, you can put more flan, fan blades next to each other. So let's say you're trying to move, move a whole lot of gas, but the resistance is causing the first cell to spike in pressure and blow out your windows if you're using windows instead of, um, instead of blocks. Well, you just put more um, in parallel to push more uh, energy through to get more out. And then at the end, you can take up all the gas that you're now pushing through. And if you say, use it in a combustion cycle, you can then further increase your efficiency by taking that thermal energy, running it through the, stir the Stirling pump and extracting even more energy. Now, I know that the next update for this game they said something about putting, or somebody else said something about them putting in the ability to freeze gases. Now, if that means that they're going to put phase changes into the game, then I'm really excited about this game. And it's going to go from a game that aggravates me constantly because of how it doesn't, um, it doesn't, re it doesn't represent the real, real world to something that'll be really interesting to experiment with, like on the level of oxygen not included. Oxygen not included, I think I have played for what, five years now? And I have, I think, 
uh, thousands of hours on it, if not more, just doing experiments, just seeing what I can do. In this game, that has become even harder because of how they change thermodynamics, which are broken, by the way. The way the thermodynamics work in the game is not the way that they work um, in real life. They're just... The, and the, the, the AC is nerfed critical. beyond um, realism. Um, heat pumps are probably one of the most efficient things you will ever use, and depending on your working fluid, um, you can get COP values that are astronomical. Like, um, the stuff that you would use um, in your house, like in your home, don't have very high COP, but um, I worked at the, um, the National Research Council of Canada, the NRC. I wasn't actually working for the NRC, I was working for a subcontractor that was putting in I was a plumbing apprentice. It wasn't anything special. But what they did was they were freezing hydrogen and helium down to liquid levels. And um, then using the liquid hydrogen and the helium, not combined, like separately, to do thermodynamic tests and thermodynamic transfer stuff. And efficiency levels were, were like they were fusion level like they weren't doing fusion experiments as in fusion energy they were doing fusion experiments like uh like a, a very mini hadron collider i think their collider was only uh, like a, a hundred meters long or something like that i don't remember how long it was very small collider but they were using this liquid helium and liquid hydrogen i think it was liquid helium the liquid hydrogen was used for something else to cool the whole thing down uh, with efficiency levels that you couldn't fathom. We were there putting in these uh, super strong insulated pipes, but there was no like um, increased electricity demand. They were actually still using 240 volt to run a lot of this equipment, even the freezing equipment. So once you get the fluid once you get your, your working fluid to a liquid state and start moving it around, efficiency is, is very high, extremely high. And one thing that oxygen not included doesn't uh, model is like energy you, you lose and gain through state changes. I hope that they put it in here. And what that's going to mean is that the, that the AC is not going to be a useful um, set piece anymore. It means you will have to build your own AC and hopefully what will happen is you'll have your pump probably a turbo pump or they, they might call it a compressor pump or something like that and you move your gas fluid from one side into the liquid side, compress it down to turn it back into into a gas so it'll uh, into a liquid so it'll state change then you blow off your excess heat and then you'll have an expander valve and the ex it'll go through the expander valve and go back into a, a gas and as it transmits as it goes into a gas it steals the heat from the surrounding areas which is exactly how your refrigerator uh, your air conditioner and heat pumps work and then maybe have the um, uh, the atmospheric AC set piece as something to use early game. If they do that, this game is so worth it. Right now, I struggle wanting to play this game like once every few months. It's, I don't play it as much as Cows Are Evil. It's basically his career to play this game. I get so aggravated that I don't want to play anymore. If you saw my playthroughs, um, I frequently pause to do other things or, you know, talk on the phone or, you know, watch a video or watch a movie or, or something. I never play longer than 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time because the game is just not as engaging as, say, Oxygen Not Included. But if they put real atmospherics in there, 
real gases, real solids, if they make this game more representative of life, even though the real world, it's super easy to cheat the real world. Like we're 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 all collectively poor, living in the in the in the bottom of uh, of uh, a monetary ecosystem, but. Uh, within thermodynamics, it's it's once you have once you have the, the the equipment, it is super easy to get energy out of almost nothing, just by reproducing. There is like this is turning into a rant, but there is no reason that electricity should cost us the amount that it does. The only reason that it is is because we're relying so heavily on fossil fuels. Now, if you want to argue about um, nuclear uh, fusion, not fission, fusion, I will, I will wipe the floor with you because I have, um, I have uh, uh, written stuff not published. It's, I was a researcher for nuclear power plants. There's a reason why Ontario is one is one of the lowest paying markets for electricity in the world and it's because of Brucey. That's uh Bruce nuclear power plant um sort of north west of Toronto. Look her up. She's a beautiful plant. She has been working. She is the seventeenth listed in power output, so the amount of of uh, her highest maximum electrical output is 17th in the world. But her average output per year since being opened is 4th. She is never turned off. Can-do reactors are genius in engineering that take the oldest designs. Like, I mean, um, uh, like, if, you, if you're British, wind scale. It's like wind scale, except they don't use... Um, air. If you're American, then it's wood. Oak Labs. It's 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 Oak Labs, but with you know uh, a few more upgrades. The reactor core can remain online as it's refueling, and it does this by uh, shutting down. Well, it doesn't even, it doesn't really shut down the chamber, but the the these big engines, these big motors, come down. Over the over the fueling uh, channel, both ends are, are sealed off. It takes the cover plate off. It takes the the end caps off. And everything the channel is filled with deuterium water, and then uh, plug the plugs are removed from one end because you have a few duds in there that are not actually fuel bundles. They're just um, uh, I forget what they are, but they're inert. They're not. Um, um, they're not a moderator. They're not um, carbon or graphite or anything like that. There's, there, there's something that won't absorb, uh, reflect, or do anything with neutrons. It's, 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 it's um, as minimally reactive as possible. And I, there's like two or three of them. They take those out, then they slide the new fuel rod in, and at the other end, after taking out the plug, those the fuel rods move down. That. The, the rod they want to take out drops into um, a, a catchment that's full of deuterium. They put the plugs back in on both ends, seal the thing off, and then that fuel bundle is not put into a cooling pond. It is moved to a different location in the reactor core's assembly to then have a different radiation profile. This allows um, the Candus, especially Brucey, to use the shittiest fuel on the planet. You can basically uh, dredge it up from the ground, from like Elliott Lake, put it into a fuel bundle, shove it in there, and do um, a minimum amount of refinement. She is meant to use almost no refinement. Um, and there are some upgrades that allow Brucey to have... Um, um, breeder channels in certain parts of the of the uh, reactor. So as the fuel goes through the, the 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 reactor, it 
enriches itself. It doesn't refine itself. So it's it's not like um, um, a centrifugal, uh, gaseous centrifugal refinement. I'm getting too far into nuclear physics here, but basically it allows Bruce to use the fuel much longer, get more out of the fuel, then it gets transferred to these um, uh, to the cooling ponds, and then it goes through the uh, refinement, and then can be used in Bruce again, or sold off to the to the um, other nuclear power plants that are uh, well, excuse the phrasing, sissy, who require enriched uranium and uh, can't swallow garbage. Bruce can swallow garbage, and is perfectly happy with it. Look her up. She is amazing. Power critical. And um, this turned from, hey, look at this great thing I can do to this game, to talking about uh, nuclear power and Bruce. But I mean, there's my rant. Here's the plant. I, I, I got... I got opinionated. Bye.